Jesus said, Man cannot live on bread alone, but from every word that proceeds from the mouth of God. You're listening to Daily Truth. The problem is we have cowardly pastors. A pastor I was just mentioning, not going to name, very grateful for him. He's not a cowardly pastor. But I'm talking about other guys now. We have cowardly pastors, but then we also have prideful pastors. There's cowardice. There's arrogance. All these things hurting the people of God. All these things tempting the sheep, assuaging their consciences, even even guilting them if they even try to attempt obedience. And what it has done is it has scattered the sheep all across the world. It scattered the sheep in our nation. And all of us, in some capacity, like David, like David, have been thinking, oh, how I miss looking upon you in the sanctuary. I remember in that context, the uniqueness of your presence where I saw your power and glory. Because your steadfast love, I miss it. It's better than life. And because of that, even in isolation, I will praise you. Some of you, you, that's been your testimony for the last year and a half. Wandering in the wilderness. Wandering in a dry and arid land. Oh God, you are my God. Earnestly, I've been seeking you for two years. My soul, it thirsts for you. My flesh, it faints for you. As in a dry and weary land where there is no water. And I remember the sweetest moments in my Christian life, in the past, where I looked upon you with a great throng and procession with the saints gathered together on the Lord's day. I saw you, as it were, with spiritual eyes. I saw you through the eyes of faith in the sanctuary, in the gathering of your people on the Lord's day. I miss church. So many people, I miss church. And here's the problem, it's twofold. It's not just I miss church because because churches aren't allowed to gather. Well, a lot of them are now. At least in our state, praise God. But, But people are still missing church. Did you know that? Some of you definitely know that. That's why you're here. There are Christians still missing church because even though their churches can now gather, in God's providence of what previously happened, the veil has been lifted, and they've realized, even though the church may now be gathering, I can't gather there anymore. So so it's not I can't gather there because they stopped gathering, but even now that they've resumed, I still can't gather there because, because their complicity... And their horrible exegesis and twisting scripture to hammer Christians who had courage over the head and guilt them and chastise them for biblical courage. That their actions, their rhetoric, their decisions, all of it. Now, I, I cannot, in, in clear conscience before the Lord, gather where I used to gather. And so even though churches are gathering in states like ours, there are still mis- dis- displaced Christians Misfit toys all over our nation saying, well, I mean, yeah, some churches are gathering now, and this one down the road is gathering, but I can't go there. I can't go there. I, I, can't, I can't gather with this church that, that every single Sunday is, is talking about how disparities equal discrimination. I can't go to this church that, that, that literally, in, in, in children's ministry is going to train my, my children if they're white, that, that they're guilty. I can't go to, to this church that, that, that I can't even distinguish what the pastor's saying because he's wearing a mask during the sermon. And, 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 where, and where everybody's wearing a sticker, the greeters are wearing stickers outside that says, I got vaccinated. Not saying that it's what, but the, but, but the, the, convey, the, the message that's being conveyed is like, you must do this or you're immoral. I can't, I can't go there. And so even though churches are gathering, what God has done is he has so ripped off the lid with our evangelical leaders that there are still displaced Christians. Many of you are like David, longing for the sweetness of the presence of God that is special and uniquely and exclusively here on earth belonging to the gathered assembly. But it's not just any gathered assembly. It is a church that biblically constitutes as a church. So it's not just two or three gathering in the name of the Lord Jesus and, and, then, and then doing whatever they want. 
It's two or three being gathered in Christ's name, covenanting together as a local church and covenanting to be a church according to biblical standards. I hope you enjoyed this video. If so, would you consider supporting this ministry by giving a donation of any amount? You can do so by going to our website, rightresponseministries.com. Let's be frank. Sadly, many evangelical pastors and leaders are serving as nothing more than water carriers for the political left. Just as those in the political left hate you, just like those corporations that are left-leaning hate you, these pastors and evangelical leaders hate you. I know that's a strong, a strong statement to make. I'm aware of that, but it's true. They don't care about your personal liberty. They don't care about your freedom. They want you to love your neighbor at the expense of biblical truth, even if it means bearing false witness. That's not us. We're different. We're not the only ones. I don't want to be arrogant. God has reserved a remnant for himself in this time as he has all other ages and all other places, but they are few and far between. It's called a remnant for a reason. We need your help. We want to stand up to tyranny. We want to stand up to this new left totalitarian regime. We want to defend Christians and people, the salt of the earth, who love America and who love God's word. But we can't do it without your help. If you're not prepared or able to give a financial gift, one way that you can support this ministry is by simply subscribing to our YouTube channel and clicking the bell so that you'll be notified as we come out with new content. You can also help us by sharing our content on all your social media platforms so that more people can hear the truth of God's word with courage and fidelity. Thanks for tuning in. God bless.